Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. Inmates are not allowed to have cell phones while incarcerated. However, in 2012 alone, police confiscated more than 2,000 devices from correctional facilities across the state. The cell phone detection canine program started in the fall of 2013 has been so successful. The Indiana Department of Corrections says it plans to implement the program in as many prisons as possible by the end of the year. DOC officials say that number will likely begin declining as the canines detect phones before they even make it into the prisons. The dogs used in the program are donated to the Department of Corrections and are trained to detect the phones based off the smell of the materials, batteries and SIM cards used in cellular devices. Senator Jim Merritt plans to introduce legislation that could prevent more Hoosier homes from going into foreclosure and ending up abandoned or blighted. He says the state has already distributed $23 million to local communities to tear down blighted homes. Merritt's promoting the Hardest Hit Fund, a $221 million pot of federal money set aside to help financially stressed homeowners avoid foreclosure and aid communities in tearing down blighted properties. Merritt says Indiana lawmakers are also seeking permission from the federal government to use upwards of $100 million for communities to tear down abandoned properties. And the Indiana-based mall operator Simon Property Group sued Indiana in 2011, saying it was giving Amazon an unequal business advantage by not requiring it to charge sales tax. Now, Hoosier shopping on Amazon.com are being charged sales taxes on their purchases as part of the settlement. The tax is assessed on any items being shipped to Indiana and is expected to bring in $22.5 million this year and $57 million next year in state revenue. And here's a look at the weather. Tonight will be partly cloudy, lows around 7 degrees, wind chill reading of negative 4. Here's a look at the five-day forecast. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny, highs in the lower 20s. Expect more snow over the weekend, a 60% chance on Saturday, an 80% chance on Sunday with lows below zero.